Hey guys, what's up? Hey, so before we start this playthrough of this game, I have to give a quick introduction. I am freaking out that I actually found this. Now, quick disclaimer, I am emulating this. However, I own a copy of this game. It no longer works, but I bought it. And I own the physical copy of the game. It just doesn't work anymore because the battery's fried in it. So this is Metabots RPG Adventure Rokusho version. And I can't believe that I actually found this. Eh, I'm not going to say where. Somewhere on Reddit. But we found a working copy of Metabots RPG Rokusho. So I'm going to actually do a Let's Play for this. I know a while back, like a year or two ago, I did a Let's Play for the Meta B version of this game. But it didn't get very many views, so I kind of scrapped the idea. I really don't care if this gets views. This is one of my favorite games from my childhood. So I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for fun. And I'm going to be posting these videos uh, every once in a while. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay of this. This game rocks, by the way. If you guys can find a copy of this, check it out. If you're into, like, GBA games. Here we go. Yeah, this is a Game Boy Advance game. Sorry, I, I had to play that intro. Had to play that intro. All right, so let's start. Before we get started, there's three row battle themes. Basically background music that you can choose, basically, right? So we're going to go for row battle time. We're going to go long because I prefer KOing my opponents rather than winning by a TKO. That's how that works. Row battle message is going to be off. That's going to speed up row battles, and I'm a pro. I played this game religiously from age 12 to 15, so, yeah. Basically, we just got to pick a background theme for battles. This is the first one. And then it just repeats, which I absolutely hate, so let's pick out the other two. I also hate this one. Number three is the only way to go, by the way. All right, so we picked that. We've decided on that, so we're going to start a new game. I will be editing these videos. However, um, there's a lot of story to this, so it's going to be a long intro. hope you guys are ready for this. There's a lot of story to this. This is way deeper than, like, say, a Pokemon game or anything like that. And if you guys don't know what Metabots is, go check out the anime. It is an anime. It's kind of goofy. It got a really bad rap in America because it's, like, super broken English, but uh, go check it out. Don't watch past season, like, two or three, though. It gets really weird and really stupid. They kind of just gave up on it after a while, but uh, the first few seasons are good. Uh, yeah, we want to save over anything previous. All right. So yeah, basically we gotta we gotta go talk to Doctor 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 Dad, Doctor Aki, and stuff. And um, yeah, there's gonna be this researcher that stops us, I think. Or nope, nope, that's for that's for his granddaughter. Never mind. All right, so we get right into Doctor Aki's room. Blah blah blah. We get to name our character. I'm gonna leave it Icky because well, it's, it's Icky. I don't rename the character. Whenever it's in a situation like this where it's based on an actual character, so it'd be like renaming Link. That's just dumb. So let's go talk to my granddaughter, because I'm too damn busy to talk to you, kid. And we get up here, and there's this guy, and he's like, he's a fucking prick. He's like, no, you can't go in here, kid. I'm going to kick your ass. Boom. Yeah. Fucking prick. So 
So then she comes out and yells at him, and he's a total fucking piece of shit simp, so he lets the kid in just because the girl says so, so it's stupid. This game's from, like, the 90s, so bear with me here. Actually, I think this was 2001? I don't remember. Game Boy Advance? Yeah, it's not that old. It's old, but it's not that old. Like me, I'm old, but I'm not that old. Like, fuck. So they're gonna introduce basically the four elemental robots, metabots. Basically, uh, these guys are fucking useless. They put them up on a pedestal, they make them seem like they're like the legendary Pokemon or something, and they're fucking worthless guys. Like, you, you get to pick a couple of them in, in the game, and it's kind of like Pokemon Yellow or Blue, where it's like, hey, if you play through several times on both versions, you can collect all the Pokemon. Well, it's the same with Metabots, but they put these things, they, they make them seem like they're really, really important, and then you get them, and it's like, they suck. Alright, so let's get the fuck out of here, that's it, that's that. There's a test pro battle scene that we can look at if we want to, but we're not going to do that because we're in a hurry here. He's like, oh shit, I completely forgot. Uh, my stupid TV show's about to start, so we got to run home. Whoop, almost ran right past it. Then his mom gets mad at him because he was supposed to be uh, like home like way earlier, and he just goes up to his room, ignores her, and you know, he's a typical fucking kid. That's how it works. He's got a dog named Salty, which is super suspicious. Like, why is this dog named Salty? But, you know, these are questions that we shouldn't answer in a fucking, you know, E-rated game. We shouldn't ask these questions, I mean. So we got this bullshit. He's watching this Metabots TV show, which is basically the tutorial of the entire fucking game. They're basically going to explain to us what a Metabot is, but since we're fucking nerds, I'm assuming you guys are nerds too if you're watching this, and you know what Metabots is. If not, this explains what Metabots are. So Metabots are these artificially intelligent, powered robots that basically they're just a fucking robot, but they have what they call a metal put into them, which is basically a preloaded AI program, which gives the robot a personality, yada, yada, yada. And it basically turns it into a sentient being. Well, not basically, that's what it does. And then little children use these things to row battle, much like Pokemon battling, which, yeah, it's, um... I don't want to say it's a rip-off of Pokemon, it's so much better than Pokemon, but it, it's the same concept. Oh, and the Metabots comprise of four different parts, the head, legs, right arm, and left arm, and the fucked up thing is, if you lose a row battle, you randomly lose a meta part. And in this playthrough, we are actually going to be abiding by those rules. Like, we can't go back, we can't go back to a save. If we lose a meta part, we lose a meta part. This is going to be really fucking interesting. Hopefully we don't lose a meta part. Alright, so Icky's mom gives him 50 bucks and says, Hey kid, go to the fucking store. Uh, I forgot to buy groceries and your dad's coming home soon and my ass is hungry. Why the fuck you would send an 11 year old kid to the fucking store for groceries with 50 bucks is just beyond me. You're just a dumb parent at that point. I am a parent, so I can say that. You're just a dumbass at that point. I would never send my kid if they were that old, to the store under any circumstances. So the kid does what any kid would do, right? The kid is offered a fucking toy, and the kid buys the toy with the lunch, with the dinner money, instead of buying dinner. Well, I mean, he's not just offered, he's railroaded into it, because basically this loser up here is basically just told he's gonna lose his fucking job, because basically, so, backstory real quick. This is a little behind the scenes, this is uh, gonna ruin parts of the plot of the game, but hear me out. Dr. Aki had a super rare, but at the same time obsolete Metabot that he needed to get rid of for unknown reasons. He pushed it off on this kid. This kid bought it through the store with the store's money, and now the guy who owns the store is threatening this kid's job if he doesn't get rid of it. So what does he do? He sells it to the first fucking person who comes into the store. Great plot, right? I mean, this would totally happen in real life. No, it fucking wouldn't. And he's like, yeah, no, I'll get, and you've got 50 bucks, I'll give you a deal for 49.80. It, it's like total bullshit. So you get Rokusho for 50 bucks, which, I mean, this is from the early 2000s. I mean, nowadays he'd probably cost like five, 600 bucks. Well, I mean, since the Biden administration, probably $2,000, but I don't want to get political here. I'm not political. I, I just, I'm a working man. I'm not political, I'm just a working man. Don't hate me, guys. 
Inflation is real. And it sucks. Alright, so now Icky's gotta go back home and explain to his mother how he just spent their dinner money on a fucking toy. And where the fuck's the rice roni? Uh, 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 yeah, what's this box? Uh, that, that's, oh no. You bought a goddamn toy with our dinner money? What did you expect, woman? You sent a 11 to 12 year old kid to the store with 50 bucks and said to go get me some rice roni. Rice roni at the time was like literally 50 cents. Damn, that explains why he didn't have enough. Because, yeah, no, they left him like, like 20 cents. So, yeah, he didn't even have enough to buy dinner. All right, so anyways, he's up here with his damn dog, and he's like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the damn thing together, right? I'll put the damn thing together. But then he realizes something. He's like, oh, no, it's not moving. What's wrong? Oh, I don't have a metal. And he starts crying. Yeah. This is not how the anime goes, by the way. I would have preferred it if they would have gone with the anime. And then this this crackhead shows up out of nowhere. Oh no, I'm not talking about his dad. I'm talking about the Phantom Renegade here. Which, um, plot twist. In the anime, the Phantom Renegade is actually a villain. In the video game, the Phantom Renegade is actually a hero. So, kind of odd. I don't know if there's a manga behind this series, but if there is, I need to fucking read it because I'm so fucking confused. So he gives this medal to Icky's dad, and Icky's dad somehow, somewhere, has this metal watch. We don't know where Icky's dad works, by the way. We got no fucking clue. There's, that's never explained. Matter of fact, I don't think Icky's dad was in the anime at all. So he comes up with this metal watch and this medal that the Phantom Renegade just gave him. And then they reveal later in the game, spoiler alert, that the metal watch that he gives Icky is special. It's a prototype meta watch. So, Icky's dad has to work at, like, one of the companies that manufacture metabots or something. Because Icky's actually one of the first people who have access to the Metaforce. Everyone else gets it later. It's uh, built into the watch, the ability to access it, whatever. But we get it right away. Because Icky's dad somehow has this super rare meta watch. Really interesting. All right, so we got the Kuwagata medal. We get to name the Metabot. I hate how you have to name the medals. Because I could take this medal later on, right? So you have to name the medal. But you could put any Metabot on this medal, right? This medal is going to be named Rokusho forever, and I fucking hate that. They make us do this. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it Ass if you want. But your Metabot, no matter what it is, is going to be named Ass. So the mom's pissed off that the dad, spo like, spoils him or whatever. We walk outside, we meet the most annoying character in the game, and one of the two love interests of the game. Unfortunately, why do they have love interests in a game that's based around ten-year-olds? I don't know, but here we go. And no, we are not getting this ending. No, we are not. I'm not doing a playthrough for it either, so don't ask. I refuse. All right, so we have to do our first row battles. We have to choose Rokusho, because he's our only metabot. And then this is how the battle system works. You literally choose, hey, what am I going to do? Am I going to use my Pippo hammer, my sword, or my antenna, whatever, charge my metaphorse? Um, you have a couple other options. You can go to auto mode, which is autopilot. It sucks. Rotation, which, uh, I forget what that does. Aim, which, uh, I forget what that does. I never use that. Status, which, eh. Uh, that just tells you what's damaged and what's not. Metaphors, which we don't have yet, I don't think. Do we have the Metaphors? Unmastered. Yep, we have no Metaphors abilities. So, we're going to start out this battle doing the thing that most people don't realize is actually the smart thing. We're going to use the antenna. That's going to increase our accuracy, but by increasing our accuracy, we are going to increase our damage. Oh no, she did it too. Oh, shit. Alright, so we're going to run back. She's faster than us. We're going to use the Pippo Hammer. We're going to take a pretty good hit from this, I'm pretty sure. Nope, blocked it. Alright, we're good. Leg defense, 23 damage. Good, 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 good. Now, hopefully... Yep, we broke defense. Excellent. 45 chain reaction damage. Damn, we almost one-shotted her. 
Without legs, she's going to be slower. We can go in for another hit with the Pippo Hammer. It should be, hopefully, the finishing blow. Critical hit. 25, 15. So the rules are to take out the head, it's done. Certain meta parts leave you open to attacks, like the Pippo Hammer leaves you open to attacks, whatever. Alright, so we just leveled up. Blah, blah, blah. Says, nah, I'm not it go. We're late for school. How the fuck are we late for school? The plot of this game confuses the hell out of me. Alright, so there's a row battle tournament. We're late. And these fuckers won. They're the school bullies. We have to kick their asses. Every one of them. Every damn one of them. Right now. No saving, no loading, nothing. We're gonna kick their asses now. I've had a few beverages tonight, so somebody remind me, even though I know I'm not streaming. Um, Lika? Remind me to save my game before I log off. This bitch don't autosave. You might be asleep. Why are you going to sleep? We're gonna play games later. That's 9 p.m. The night is still young. All right, anyways. So this guy's a little different. This guy's a little tricky, and he's hard. So this guy's got lasers. This guy's a bitch. He hits you, you're going to lose a better part. So we're going to have to act fast, and we're going to have to change our strategy from the last battle. First thing we're going to do is aim, increase our accuracy, and increase our damage, right? Now, he's pretty slow. But instead of using the Pippo Hammer, since he's got so goddamn much HP, we're going to use the sword. It doesn't have chain reaction damage, but... Higher crit rate. We're going for a crit. If we're lucky, we can take out the arm he's using before he uses it. Now he blocks, of course, leg defense, 33. That's not good. Okay, so we might be bones here. We're going to go for sword again. We're not going to lose. Like, this battle is not a hard battle. Sloan is weak as fuck. His metabot is weak as fuck. But the one thing we do not want to do is be spamming Pippo Hammer right now because that leaves us open, and then he could hit any meta part. He could hit our head and one-shot us if we're open, right? So let's keep using the damn sword. Worst case scenario with this strategy, we might lose a turn. But that's not a big deal. His legs are about fucked. Now he's probably, probably going to take out whatever he hits, but we'll block, so it's either going to be right arm, left arm, or left. Oh, what the fuck? How did that go through? All right, he just destroyed our legs. We're fucked. What the hell? We're still good. Don't worry. All right, now we're going to use that goddamn Pippo Hammer. He's using a head metaphor. All right, he blocks. Left defense, 40. It's fucked. Chain reaction. Yeah, so... God damn it. This might not be good. Can you actually lose in the tutorial? Critical hit to the sword. Ooh. We're not looking good, so we're just going to have to swing, 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 swing. So, here's the thing. If we hit his legs, if we destroy his legs, he's not going to be able to move. He is so goddamn slow to begin with. It's going to be over. And I think we just destroyed... Yep, he was going to use his... Right, so now... God, hopefully we can win this. This is going to be close. We might have just enough power. No. This might be it. We might lose. I think it's game over if we lose here. Oh, God, don't hit the head. Oh, God, don't hit the head. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. We can't attack now. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Um, so, charge metaphors. Oh, God. But he's only got two shots with the head. Does he have another one? I have no metaphors. We're gonna have... Oh, my God. I miss, because he doesn't have any more ammo in his head. So, what's gonna happen here is this is gonna be a win-by-decision match. Which, since he's got damage to his head, we win. I have no damage, like we have no damage to our head, and he has damage to his head. So we're going to win. We win by TKO because we've done more damage. It's kind of like a boxing match. 
if you guys know the rules of boxing, basically. So yep, we win, and we win one of his meta parts. Right arm, mega laser, that's a good part. Alright, Kuagata leveled up. So we just absolutely flunked the first battle. Let's see if we can do any worse this time. God, it has been too long. Waste a turn to use the antenna. He is faster than us. This is not good. Oh, 16 damage. Never mind. All right. So he's going to be a little faster than us. This guy is not as strong as the last one. I think we can get through with a sword attack. And it looks like we landed a critical hit on the right arm. Excellent. And he misses because he was aiming with the right arm. He was going to use the right arm. So we're going to use the sword. Hopefully we're faster. We are. Also, certain meta parts have a slower or longer charging time than others, which is why it's so much faster when we use the sword. All right, now, unless he's using his head to attack, which, nope, he wasn't. So now... The only thing he can do is attack with his head. Which, yes, his head is also a gun. And we got a dodge. That's really hard to pull off, by the way. Like, usually you have to have, like, a way higher metabot level than your opponent to get that. So we're still not out of the woods yet, but I think we've won. No, we've won. We'll just use the Pippo Hammer to finish him off. There's no way he can survive that, as long as he hit. Which, yep, yeah, we hit. And he gone. Easy peasy. Now, we get the hard battle. Alright, we got the leg. That's not a bad meta part. It's not a good meta part. But if we're going to be building a gunner later, they're decent legs. However, the problem is there's actually a, a better uh, set of legs that we can get from a random row battle here in a little bit. Pepper Cat is a pain in the ass. That's her metabot, and it basically has the ability to stun you. It's, got, it's an electric cat metabot. So, it also dodges really well, so we're going to have to start out with the antenna. It's a little bit slower than other metabots, though, so we're going to see how this works out. It's not going to be easy. Eleven damage, status effect, stop mobility. So it temporarily freezes you up. She's pretty slow. Four out of five, we could go again. Nope, we're going to hit her with the sword. She has an incredibly high evasion rate, too, so. 25 damage, right arm is destroyed. Pretty simple, once you get the hang of it, once you understand the rules. Also can be a pain in the ass. Left arm, we were open, so 34 damage. To, oh, no. Chain reaction damage to the sword, not good. And hopefully we can hit the head or the legs and destroy them. Nope, left, which is going to be bad news for us because that's going to speed up. Since her part's destroyed, there's no cooldown on it, so she can come right back. So at this point, we're kind of fucked. We're going to have to go for a hammer attack. This is not good. Ooh, 35 damage to the head. Okay, this is not good. Okay, this is good. And we win. All right. Got it on our first try. That's amazing. I remember the first time I played this game... Oh my god. Oh, we got the head, too. Nice. Got the head. So there's basically a little argument here, and they're like, you know, they're going to do Pokemon's battle. They're going to call out their po all of their Pokemon at the same time. Do a three-on-one. And then Rokusho just fucking activates the Metaphors and kills all of them. It's like, basically over limits from Final Fantasy, but, yeah... So he just kills all of them. Just knocks them all out in one hit. And 
them, boom, that's it. That's all there is. They get pissed off, they leave. Sorry, I've played this game way too many times. I don't talk a lot during my normal Let's Plays, but goddamn, I love this game, guys. I love this fucking game. No, oh, yeah. And then, of course, you know, she she's an unlikable um, twat, so... Yeah, that happens. All right. And now it is time to save the game, and thank you guys for watching. This is the end of episode one. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this crazy game. I'll, I'll play the whole damn thing. I want to say whether you guys like it or not, but I, I do want to post stuff that you guys want to see. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'll probably play it anyway. But until next time, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.